But good morning, YouTube people, friends, family, just people who just want to be on checking me out. Glory be to God. I want to say God is good all the time. He is awesome. He is worthy to be praised, not just only on Sundays, but praise God every day. Make him your first and your everything all the days of your life because he the one woke you up this morning and somebody to be thanked. Thank God for another morning, for another day, because he didn't have to wake you up, but he did. And somebody need to be thankful this morning. I know I thank my God every day. Because he's a way maker. Hey Amen. Yes, he is. He's a way maker. I want to share out my book here. I'm reading out my, um, this is my regular Bible. I got an NLT Bible. And I'm trying to make this uh quickly as possible. Because YouTube, I don't know. Let me go that long on YouTube. And if I was doing something crazy and silly, he'll let me go for a long time, maybe. But I just want to read real quickly out of Ezekiel Ease chapter 8. I'm starting with verse 2. It says, it's talking about obedience to the king. Obedience to the king, that is the topic. Obedience to the king. It says, obey the king since you vow to God that you would. Don't try to avoid doing your duties. And don't stand with those who plot evil. For the king can do whatever he wants. His command is backed by great power. No one can resist or question it. Those who obey him will not be punished. Those who are wise will find a little time. Any it says those it says those are, those who are wise will find a time and a way to do what is right. For there is a time and a way for everything when, even when a person is in trouble. Indeed, how can people avoid what they don't know is going to happen? Now, this is none of us, none of us can hold back our spirit from departing. None of us has the power to prevent the days of our death. There is no escaping that our obligation that dark battles and in, and in the face of death, wickedness will certainly not rescue the wicked. And that's all from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 5 and verse 8. It talks about the wicked and the righteous also in here too. But I'm going to read a little bit about the wicked and the righteous, which we all should know about the wicked and the righteous. We see that every day. You know, just look around, look at the news, the wicked and the righteous. Uh, verse 9, it says, I have thought, I have thought, deeply about all that goes on here under the sun where people have the power to hurt each other i have seen wicked people uh, buried with honor yet they were the very ones who frequents the temple and are now praised in the same city where they committed their crime this too is meaningless when a crime is not punished quickly people feel it is safe to do wrong you know it kind of mind me some folks, you know, people just feel safe for, uh, for them to do wrong when it's not even, you know, when you're not even punished. Uh, if you is punished for a time being, you ain't punished for that long, you, you're bailed out, you got out some kind of way, but God already know when the time to do. God already see, God already know when it's the time to, you know, to punish you. Whether you be in your 60s, 70s, or 80s, it's a time for everything. It may not be right away to some folk, but it's a time for everything. You're not getting away with anything when you think you are. But I'm not going to hold uh, everybody too long because I got to get up and go and do what I got to do. But I am going to pray for each and every last one of you while you're on here. Whenever you decide to get on, tell your friend, tell your family, tell somebody about uh, D-446. You know, could be a word, could just be an encouragement, it could just be a prayer for them. But Heavenly Father, I pray for the Lord that's watching and listening and, and, and viewing me right now. I pray the Lord to be with them, keep them, lead them, guide them, protect them going in and going out. I pray no weapon formed against them shall prosper in Jesus' name. Because they can do all things through Christ, which strengthen them. Lord, lift them up wherever they hurt, wherever they were, whatever's trying to keep them down, Lord. Lift them up in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, I pray, Lord, that they get in the world and do the will of God for their life. I pray they get saved, change their life, change their way. And, and do what's right at all times in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for the one that may be sick and shut in right now, may not be feeling good right now. I pray, Lord, you just heal and touch wherever they hurt, heal and touch wherever they pain it, because I rebuke every sickness and every disease in Jesus' name. I rebuke high blood pressure, low blood pressure, 
heart disease, cancer, whatever's going on, sugar diabetes, whatever's going on in your life, whatever's pain in your life, whatever the doctor said, my God, he's the best doctor ever. And he never loses. He never loses a battle. He never loses a case. He never loses uh, fail or failures from your body because he knows what's the problem. He knows what the issue is. And only my God can fix it. And by his strike, you are healed and you are well if you believe and receive it in Jesus. Now, no matter what the doctor said, no matter what the bad report said, we focus on what God said. God is a healer. He's not a killer in Jesus' name. Somebody may be on life support machine. I don't know. They may not can't breathe on their own. Something's going on right now in their life. Lord, I pray you'll touch them, heal them. Let them breathe on their own in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody probably been in a bad accident. Somebody just uh, probably just lost their job or lost their home or something going on or went on in their life, Lord. I pray you'll fix it. Bring things back together. Bring things back in order the way it's supposed to be in Jesus' name. I pray y'all just keep Lord God, my Lord, my God first and all that you do. Don't put nothing before him because he is a jealous God. Don't put nothing before him. You know, because he's the one who created everything for you to have, not to sell, not to serve and celebrate more than him. And I pray, you know, Lord, just, just fix it. Fix every uh, broken family right now. Fix whatever was broken. Fix what somebody may be missing. Somebody probably ran away. Somebody just probably be lost. Lord, I pray you'll bring them back home safe in the mighty name of Jesus. Well and alive, safe in Jesus' name, my prayer. I pray for this world. I pray for the, the people that's in this world and that's still lost. They have not even know you, don't even know you, Lord Jesus. I pray you'll bring them all in for them to know you in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Now I rebuke every demon, every devil may be trying to stop you from hearing the righteous and trying to do the right thing in Jesus' name. Do the right thing at all times. In the mighty name of Jesus, love one another in Jesus' name. They, they just say they, they don't want to love you. They, they, don't, they don't this, they don't that. Love them anyhow. Because God is love. And he wants us to love in Jesus' name. God bless each and every last one of you. And God keep you in Jesus' name. Because I believe and I receive that it's done. Help is on the way. Because I trust in God. And he will bring and send his helpers to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't be don't 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 sit fast. Don't 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 stand fast sad all the time. Get your joy back. You know, get your peace back. You know, and let's start within Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God bless you all. God keep you. In Jesus' name. Bro, God bless this world. God bless what's, what's going on in this world. It's not right. Lord, I pray you fix it. Fix it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Fix it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. I'm, I'm trusting you, Lord. It is fixed. I'm trusting you. Somebody may, uh, uh, may be doing without food. Somebody may be homeless, Lord. Give a, give, a gift to them a place to stay, Lord. Provide they need, Lord Jesus. And all what they need, provide for them in Jesus' name. Show up and show out in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God bless you all and God keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I know my God, he's a miracle worker. He's a worker. You know, when you don't think he's working, he's working on your behalf right now. Believe that. He's working on you right now. Hallelujah. Trust and believe and thank God. Somebody be thanking God before they even see it. Just thank him anyhow. Thank him right now because his help is on the way. And I trust and I believe that. Help is on the way. Yes, it is. Help is on the way. Yes, it is. My God, he is helping. He will help. Help is on the way. Believe that. All right, y'all. Uh, have a blessed day. Stay up in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. And thank you, Lord, for letting the people to uh, agree on me and watching me right now. I pray they receive the word today. I pray, I pray they receive uh, the goodness of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, I receive and I believe for my own self. God is a miracle worker. He is the healer. He is a doctor. He is a lawyer. He is a preacher and teacher. He is a way maker. Hallelujah. So y'all stay blessed in Jesus' name. And remember, God is love. He loves you. He loves you more because he woke you up this morning. Stay up in Jesus' name. Stay blessed in Jesus' name. And all that you do, love one another in Jesus' name. See y'all next time. But God, say the same.